So here are the answers to the questions at the end of the previous chapter. Hopefully you've got all these right. So why don't you tick these off before we go on to factors affecting rates of energy transfer. Surface area and volume will affect the rate of energy transfer. The greater the surface area of an object, the greater the rate of energy transfer. And the smaller the volume of an object, the greater the rate of energy transfer. This goes for animals as well as objects. So let's look at two species of fox. The Arctic fox lives in the Arctic. Obviously, it's very cold. Now, he has small ears. This gives him a small surface area, and therefore a slow rate of energy transfer. He loses his heat slowly to the surroundings, which is a good thing. He doesn't want to lose it fast. And then there's the desert fox, a cousin of the Arctic fox. He lives in a very hot environment. He's got large ears, which gives him a large surface area, which is a good thing because he loses his energy quickly to the surroundings. He's able to lose heat more rapidly. That helps him survive in his hot environment. Rate of energy transfer is also affected by the materials from which the object is made. Some materials gain or lose energy at a faster rate than others. Materials which are good insulators transfer energy more slowly. The surfaces in contact will affect the rate of energy transfer. Again, some materials gain or lose energy faster than others. So therefore, the materials in contact with an object will affect the rate at which energy is transferred to or from the object. The temperature difference from the surroundings will affect the rate of energy transfer. The greater the difference in temperature between an object and the surroundings, the greater the rate of energy transfer. For example, if you take a hot cup of tea outside, it cools down a lot faster on a really cold day than on a hot day. And there's your cup of tea. Rapid heat loss when the surroundings are cold. Okay, so quickly test yourself. Hopefully you've printed out all these notes so you can answer it now and find the answers at the beginning of the next chapter.